Motion Pulse. Hey, what's up? Andrew Kramer here for VideoCopilot.net and welcome back to another very exciting demo for our new product, Motion Pulse. So what is Motion Pulse? Basically, it's a collection of sound design tools specifically for motion graphics and visual effects. There's basically five separate libraries. So you have Signal, which is your electrical and glitching and distortion and noise, even some record player scratches and cool stuff like that. We've got our machine section that's got like pistons and gears, robotic sounds, cyborg, morphing, all that kind of cool heavy metal stuff. And then we have our velocity library. That's sounds of like whooshes and swishes and spin effects, atmosphere, Doppler effects, all the different sounds of motion and things moving. Then we have the organic section. That's a lot of cool stuff like liquids and goos and things that are really hard to describe and explain. Anytime you have an animation that's not a specific real thing, you need that kind of abstract disintegration, life forms, uh, cool stuff like that. And there's even some cool medical sound effects as well. And of course we have our impact library. So that's things like crashes and hits and bass drops and slams, subsonic effects, trailer hits, all that kind of stuff to grab your audience's attention. This is definitely not a collection of boring, muffled, or low quality sound effects. This is hard hitting stuff. So basically there's five libraries, over 2,000 sound effects that are all part of the Motion Pulse black box. So you get the whole collection, you can mix and match, do a lot of fun stuff. All right, so let's go and take a look at how it works. Right now, I'm using Adobe Bridge to go through all the different sound libraries. Here we have the impact, machine, organic, signal, and velocity. And although we give Bridge a hard time sometimes, it's actually quite useful for going through lots of files. So if we just jump into a category, we can see all of the subcategories for that. So we can go into, say, the bass drops, which is one of my favorite categories. And you just click on a sound. And you can check it out. So really fast, easy way to go through a lot of different sounds and find the sound that's right for your title or right for your shot. All right, so let's take a look at some of the different sounds. So in the impact section, we've got things like debris, dramatic hits, slicers. We've got trailer hits, subsonic hits. So if we just open up those folders, we can just go through them. And as you go back and forth, you can click on different sounds. So you can really see there's a lot of energy in these sound effects and a lot of multiple layers combined together. Let's go check out the machine section. So there's a lot of fun stuff in here. We've got the robotics, probably my favorite section. But we've got other things. We've got things like lockdown, really cool crisp sounds. Let's check out the organic We've got things like life forms. A lot of weird stuff in there. We've got liquid stuff. Underwater, that's really cool. We've even got meat slices, so check this out. See what I'm saying? Now we're talking. Uh, we've got some cool disintegration stuff. Even some medical stuff is pretty fun, like a defib. Well, I guess he didn't make it. Oh man, I'm mixing on the fly. Uh, okay, signal. Now this is really cool. This is like your digital glitches, electrical stuff. And then of course we've got the velocity. So this is, uh, you know, from different spin effects. To things like uh, swishes and whooshes. Uh, we've even got some cool atmospheric type of effects. And these are really cool, again, for just kind of getting the tone and the ambience of your, uh, of your project. All right, so how can we mix our sound effects together? Well, 
I'm going to be using Adobe Premiere, but you can pretty much use any audio video application. So you can use Vegas, or you could use Final Cut, or you could use Adobe Audition, or even After Effects. Basically, you just want to be able to have multiple layers of sound. So I've got a title here, and I've got a couple of sound effects, this uh, sword mech and this metal slice. So let's go and take a look. Okay, now we can solo the layer here. Got a nice kind of golden sword sound, and then we've got a metal slice sound. Now, both of these sounds are from the Motion Pulse collection, but I want to add a little bit more to this. So, let's jump over here to a bridge, and let's go to the impact section and down to debris. I want to find something that we can use to kind of bring out that particle effect. So here we have the debris slow motion. So listen to this. All right, I'm going to take the debris slow motion five and just drag it right inside of the timeline. So you can kind of see it just drops right in. So now I can slide this over and maybe line it up and let's take a listen. So you can definitely tell the difference here. You have a lot more of this, uh, you know, it gives it a little bit of a bass sound and also those kind of crisp glass pieces that uh, really pop. So this is a cool example of mixing a few sounds, but let's take a look at a little bit more of a challenging example. So here we have this kind of robotic parts coming together. All right, so we want to build a custom sound effect for this animation. So what we want to do is bring in some parts. Now, if we go to the machine section, as I showed you before, we can actually use some of the pre-made sound effects. Let's actually go inside the locked down section. So. All right, that's got a nice sound. Let's bring in number three and number five. So we'll grab both these and just drag it right inside. So now what I can do is I can start layering these and lining them up. So the first moment that this title comes together is right here, kind of locks together. So let's take this sound, move it over a little bit so that that hit lines up. So here we go. And then we have this other lockdown sound that sounds like this. And let's line it up with this sort of slot. So maybe we'll just take it and move it over a couple of clicks. All right, so let's listen to both of them together. Not too bad. And if you've ever sat next to someone doing sound design, it can get a little bit annoying listening to the same section over and over and again, but it's part of the process. It's actually pretty fun once you get in there. Okay, so we've got a couple of lockdown sounds, but we want to add a little bit more texture to these metal sounds. So if we jump into the micro madness section. This is kind of some, imagine kind of smaller, more abstract type of robotic sounds. So let's listen. <laughs> Okay, so that's pretty cool, this Micro Madness number five. Let's drop that down onto uh, track A4. And maybe just line this up a little bit. Okay, so that sounds pretty cool. Let's add a little bit more texture. Let's try this Metal Blade category. That's cool, it's got kind of an electric sound. Let's bring that in. Maybe slide this over a bit. That's cool. And remember, the thing about sound design is you can't put all of the sounds or the loud parts of sounds right on top of each other. So sometimes you want to just offset them a little bit so you can actually hear the individual sounds. Here's what we're going to do. I've got this voiceover right here. So I'm going to cut it in the middle. And I'm going to take the second half, I'm going to put it about here, and take the first half about here. 
Video Copilot presents Motion Pulse. And then we'll hit with this. So let's overlap these a bit. Take these two and just drop them down a channel. And we'll just... And maybe even add a subsonic hit at the beginning. So check this out. We'll go back to the Motion Pulse black box. Open up the Impacts subsonic. And let's just try to find something cool here. Number seven it is. So let's bring that guy out and might need to put it on a lower track here. So here's the voiceover start. So we'll start the sound effect. All right, let's go and listen to this masterpiece. Video Copilot presents Motion Pulse. All right, not too bad for a demonstration. I will tell you, the one thing that is fun about Motion Pulse is that as you go through the sounds, you're actually going to be thinking of ideas for your motion graphics. So you're going to hear a sound and think, oh, I'm going to add this or I'm going to animate that to try to drive that sound effect. It'll definitely inspire ideas, so I really hope you guys check this out. So the Motion Pulse black box includes all five different sound libraries. And also, with the black box, we're including the toolkit sound effects. So this is the sound effects that make up a lot of the more complex sounds of the various mastered, mixed versions. So things like the attachments, you're going to get a lot of the smaller pieces of those sound effects so that you can use these to build other sound effects. We definitely put a lot of time into getting this right and creating sounds with the intention of blowing people's minds. Uh, so hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed the demo and if you have any questions, uh, leave a comment. We'll uh, take a look. So anyways, hope you guys check it out. My name is Andrew Kramer and we will see you next time. Visit videocopilot.net for more.